take a look at yourself in the mirror. Just look at yourself. You're down, sad, and bored. And you'd give anything for the Hunting Quest podcast to be on tonight. It's it's going to be okay. We've got good news. You're listening to the Wednesday edition of The Hunting Quest. We like hunting and fishing, and you like hunting and fishing. We love anything outdoors, and so do you. Kayaking, hiking, camping, and you want useful and helpful information on the fishing environment locally in the DMV area. Wednesdays will never be the same. Ah. This is The Hunting Quest, and this is your host, Mike Tippin. Still not Bennett. And Donnie Bennett. Uh, still not <laughs> That's going to be your new name, Donnie. Without <laughs> Bennett. Oh, Bennett. I see how it is. I tell you what, man. <laughs> that dude freaking killed that intro. Dude. It's fine. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, his voice is something else. So he, uh, anybody who's interested, he is uh, over on Fiverr. You can find him. He's uh, your image guy. Y-O-U-R-I-M-A-G-I-N-G-G-Y. Awesome guy. Hell yeah. He's fast. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, I think he's a good price, but you know, for the stuff that he puts out, <laughs> dude, I think I'm getting a steal. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said oh. he does. He's he's a radio DJ, right? He's part of radio. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we talked about it. He's gonna come on here. Hell yeah, that's gonna be fun. Um, he told me he's like, I don't hunt or fish. I'm like, do I care? <laughs> I don't care. Make him read like a bedtime story or something. That'd exactly. Be cool. I don't care. We can just sit here and drink bourbon, and he can read yes. us stories. Speaking of which, down. Um, uh, you Ooh, are not drinking bourbon. Bardstown. Yeah, nice. I'm drinking bourbon on a Wednesday. Oh, don't oh. tell anyone. I'm telling your mom. Mm, don't tell my. <laughs> don't want to. Uh, who is it? Uh, the sap offs or, or who's the? What's the new alcoholic program in I don't Air Force? Even know. Yeah, That's the problem no. with being a good kid. You don't know all the all the people you got to go to when you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell so, you. I couldn't tell you their name, number. I could find it, but yeah. Well, we. Um, I will tell you, as a not so good kid in the Navy, <laughs> um, I made a mistake. Um, we had this SAP program, which great program, and you know, I, I understand it. But if you have like an alcohol related incident, yep, and that could be anything, like you stub your toe and you have been drinking alcohol related incident, right? yep. So we have SAP officers, and uh, well, had this a long time ago, and um, <laughs> I had an alcohol-related incident, <laughs> and I went to go talk to my SAP officer because I had to. <laughs> and <laughs> this guy, super cool guy, he's like, uh, so you know, asked me all this questions, like questionnaires, reading them mm -hmm. off, bang, bang, bang. He's like, all right, no, no, no. The last question he asked, he said, you know, hey, do you think you have a drinking problem? <laughs> and I said, yeah, two hands, one mouth. <laughs> Apparently, he did not get I the said, joke. Some tells me he didn't find that real funny. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. Um, that's a whole different issue. But uh, we, had a, we had a mild incident when I first got up here to base. Me and my buddies decided we were going to be smart and uh, – I don't that know never if starts well. You're not right. smart. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen them. The big, like, uh, make, like, an American flag out of beer cans. So you yeah. use Miller Lite for the white cans and Budweiser and Bud Light and make a flag out of it. Yeah. Well, we start running through them, and we're like, well, hell, we're going to need a lot of cans. We figured out the math and how many cans we were going to need and everything, and, man, we started running through 30 racks of cans. Oh, boy. Well, first sergeant came and did a room inspection. <laughs> Oh, you're in the barracks. <laughs> oh. The oldest one of us <laughs> was 20. 
You're screwed. <laughs> and they found 143 beer cans in his, <laughs> his closet. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> Not happy. Did you tell him you were doing, you know, like, community service, picking it up on the road? Well, no. <laughs> so, thankfully, he was super cool about it. Where He was like, why? Why? Just throw them away. Like, it's yeah. one thing to do. Like, why are you keeping them? And we're like, oh, well, <laughs> funny you ask that. Um, <laughs> we we're going to make American flag out of them. And he goes, okay, what? You got credit. And he was like, how are you going to do? Oh, red, white, and blue cans. We're like, yeah, you know, white stripe, red stripe, and then blue with white cans for the stars. And he's like, yeah. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's you like, all right, cool just throw them away. <laughs> like, get rid of the cans. Don't do it again. We're like, damn it. That's a good dude. So, yeah, saved our ass, but yep. I had to throw away a lot of hard work. <laughs> a lot of hard work. Had to restart I our work the next weekend. <laughs> going to cat. A lot of hard work. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I tell you, man, I I I've got a lot of stories that I could share from my <laughs> Navy career, but there is none more important than this guy, um, BM two Jones, to this day is single handedly the guy who saved my Navy career. And um, he was bosun's mate, happened to be on shore duty as a shore patrol. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the guy was just a cool dude. And one day he was like, you know, I, I went to go get two drunk Marines from this place. They called me. I went and got them because I had a car. And I picked them up. It was like four. It, so I went to go get two. I pick up four. I'm in a, like, <laughs> A single cab F-150. Nice. You're not putting four people <laughs> in the truck. No. Nah. So the other folks are in the back, and they're all smashed. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I go to pick them up, come back, drop them off, and um, Troll Patrol sees me. Troll Patrol's BM2 Jones. And he stops me. He's like, you're an idiot. Stop being an idiot. All right, cool. There was probably like four of these like stupid issues. And finally, he's like, dude, you, I, I can't cover it for you anymore. You need to stop. Just don't be an idiot. <laughs> so it, it like something profound came over me and I stopped being an idiot. And he was like, all right, cool. Fast forward six years in my Navy career. And I'm on the USS Austin, LPD-4. And I run across this guy, and he's super cool. And I'm like, man, it feels like I know you forever. Come to find out he's BM2 Jones, now <laughs> BM1 Jones. And I'm like, holy cow, that's the coolest thing on the planet. And we started realizing where we knew each other yeah. and the whole nine yards. I was like... Dude, this is the coolest thing ever. We went from Pensacola to Norfolk, and this is who you are. Yep. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, so, cool story, you know, but it it's one of those where it's like, man, you know, as, as a veteran now, and, and you're looking at this, and you're like, man, this is just, I would not have been here without that guy. Yeah. So, anyway, long story short. Um, Hell, yeah. Good people in your career can save it <laughs> for sure <laughs> so i have my career to be m2 jones for sure yeah oh yeah anyway so how was your week <sighs> still getting yeah. there halfway through it yeah almost done okay i'm ready for friday i'm excited i am too i'm really excited for this friday in person that's right and we got big Mr. party Kyle at mikey's Hall. house yes <laughs> um i got some banquets Hell yeah. A little shorties. I'm in. I'm in. And I got <laughs> good bourbon. Nice. Good bourbon. That's what I've I got. got a lot uh, more, too. We've heard that uh, we're going to have Lil D with us for Friday yeah. as well. So. I'm stoked. Hell Travis says yeah. he's going to call in. Oh, okay. I don't, know that, I don't know that I like him calling in. Yeah. <laughs> eh. nah. We'll be fine without him. We don't need we'll him. We'll be fine without him. We don't need <laughs> Travis. <sighs> Yeah, uh, but yeah, um, we'll have uh, Little Doyle and yeah. Kyle Ott from Mossy yep. Oak. So, 
Kyle is a bad dude, man. Yes, he is. Um, speaking of Mossy Oak, what you got on your shirt there? Oh, it's... Jerk. Nothing, Mikey. Oh, you haven't gotten Jerk. yours yet, Mikey? Jeff. Oh, it's just the, the oh. Mr. Fox t-shirt to go along with my Mr. Fox stickers, as well as my limited edition numbered Mr. Fox vest. And what number is that? 973. And that's one off of what? One off of the halfway mark. <laughs> <laughs> one off. At first, so I opened it yesterday, um, just enough to see what the number was. And I'm going through it, and the box is incredible. Um, yeah. All, you I know, saw. magnet I saw the and all that stuff. Um, so that was just the outside box that the actual box shipped in. Um, I'll have to post some pictures and stuff on the Instagram page. You guys can check that out. Um, but the box, the vest was actually in the lid has like magnets on the front of it. And it's all like super soft and like quiet and everything. Just super, super Nobody satisfying. Cares. Yeah, you do. No one cares. Yeah, you do. You think you're cool. You're not. <laughs> yeah, you do. Mikey, you bought no. two of them. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just happened to get mine first so I can talk about it. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of pissed. Uh, I'm like, where's mine? I know. <laughs> But so yeah, I opened it and I was like, hell yeah, I'm sub a thousand. Like, sweet. And then the I more I'm looking cool, at it, man. I'm like, damn, it's one off of the halfway mark, though. Like, if it was the halfway mark, it'd be way cooler, but being one off, still pretty cool. First of all, you got a Mr. Fox vest. That's, that's numbered. That's numbered. And not just numbered, but almost halfway. Yeah, just over it. One Dude, off. Dude, that's cool. That's cool as shit. I think it's awesome. <laughs> it's super cool. Um, and what are Mr. Vox both, you know, what are they going for? I haven't even looked in a couple of days. The last I looked, they were 2500 to 3000 I think, on eBay. Again, no reason why anybody should care no. about your woes. Yeah, that's right. No, I'm messing with you. Yeah, keep complaining about it. <laughs> You're <laughs> fueling mine, my fire, happy. Mikey. Keep going. Yeah, when I get mine, I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah. They're they're um they're really nice though. The canvas, they're I mean it's like a real heavy canvas. They're super nice. So now, I will not ask Sitka or Mossy Oak. I'm not. Just mm. so don't do it. Mm. But it's because you already know the answer and you're not I happy do. about it. I do. <laughs> um but from Mr. Fox perspective, I think it's badass. Oh, it's cool as hell. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's amazing. Um, still, I I still don't think I'm gonna hunt in it because I don't want to ruin it. I mean, the the quality and the the fact that it's a numbered vest too. If it was an unnumbered, I'd go hunt in it probably. I get it, but uh, and, and and kudos to you, man. I, I I don't know what I would do in your situation, but I get it. I I so. think I would. Uh, depending on the hunt, if it was a you know walk out and sit in a ground blind, something like that, yeah, I'd wear it. But the stuff I normally do of you know running ridge lines and sliding down stuff and running through mud holes and thickets and briars and all that, I I get it. I don't, it, dude. If I walked through a briar patch and something snagged it and ripped a thread out of it or something, I'd be pissed. I get it. The Sitka vest. Oh, I'm gonna thrash that thing. I'm ready to try to demolish that vest. I get it. I do, I do. I understand. Um it's tough, man. <laughs> it really is. It, it's tough. <laughs> but I understand where you're at. Mm -hmm. So uh, I I can't give you but so much crap. Yeah. What? Hold on. Where is it? <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> nah. Um, <sighs> I think it's good. I think you're you're in good place. I think it's cool that you got it, and they couldn't have to do, like to a better person. Uh, so I don't know I'm, about that. I, nah, I think <laughs> it's good. I do. And the other thing too is like today is. Bob Dixon's birthday, mm -hmm. right? So, folks who don't know Bob Dixon, that that individual and Mr. Fox 
are single handedly Oh, I can't talk. <laughs> Come on, get Too it. Too much parts down. You can do it. Um, no, <laughs> so single handedly amazing at Turkey. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I I don't know, man. It's just it, it it's a good place to be and you're a part of it. Mm-hmm. Kind of cool. That's what I, uh, to me, holding on to it and the kind of, I guess, historical value of it, even though it's a brand new thing, yeah. I think is more important than yeah, me running around the woods. And yeah, although it would be really cool to go get a turkey in it. Yeah, but, but my wife is like, hey, don't give him shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. Yes, so, Allie's on my team. Yeah, <laughs> Suck she it, is. Mikey. Yeah, when you, when you get here on Friday. <laughs> You need to tell her, hey, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for being on my team, Allie. Yeah, I always knew exactly. you were the best. <laughs> she doesn't happen. Like, I don't know. She doesn't do that. She's like <laughs> always Team Mike. Yes. Yeah, she went to Team Bennett. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, so congrats to you. I'm really interested to talk to Kyle about it, too, and see what his I'm thoughts too. are on it. Um, oh, dude. as a member of the company and all that stuff, yep. if he's gotten a vest, um, which I, I did see, yet. I don't know. I'd have to talk to him. I guess we can I ask him on Friday. To find out. Um, but yeah, between, you know, working for the company and yeah. being a pro staffer and actually, you know, not just working for the company, but being one of the people that's out in the field representing the company. Yep. Um, super interested to see your hear his thoughts on it and all that stuff oh god yeah um there's i don't know there's not a lot of people who i'm like dude this is like super exciting i'm kind of there with kyle <laughs> so we'll see how it goes yeah but uh that's friday seven ish yeah i told him like six thirty ish we'll cool. get stuff set and up it's in and person it is oh i love it's gonna I be love fun. in person. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. All right, and then Saturday. We yeah, are... tell us what we're doing Saturday, Mikey, because I don't so, even know what's going on Saturday. <laughs> so you and I are going to Ashland, Virginia. Yep. To go have lunch at Fallen Outdoors. Is it at their at their well, facility or with Bass them? Pro. Oh, okay. No, Bass Pro. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry. Uh, ooh. Um, at Bardstown. <laughs> oh, dude, you have no idea. It's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, quick to the brain. Um, uh. So these guys are, if you don't know Fallen Outdoors, you need to. They're um, awesome. Yeah. Well, um, you did an interview. Yeah, I did an interview with them at the uh, Great American Outdoor Show. Um, yeah. We had, we actually had a few of their groups out. Um last year with Ramrod doing the duck hunt stuff. Um, yeah. And they're just a fun group of guys. It goes, you know, that goes back to the, uh, um, like we talked about, was it last Wednesday or, yeah, I think it was last Wednesday, um, you know, about people in the military, how it's, it really becomes a family really quickly. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And I mean, anytime you're around those guys, they're just so like humble and down to earth about who they are and what they do. And, um, they're just a great group of guys to be around. They make everything super fun, um, super laid back and easy going. Um, which, as a guide, really nice to have a yeah. you know have a group Saturday morning when birds are stale and we're still laughing and cutting up and. Well, birds are stale. <sighs> You've been drinking. <sighs> Hangover. No, yeah. never. Ew. Us oh. never. Yeah. Okay. No, it's all that chicken adobo and. And a, a little drumstick before bed, and oh. we're out like a light. All right, all right. <laughs> it's right. the it's the bow fishing until two in the morning. Yeah, getting home at three thirty, sleeping until four, and then getting in the truck and going to duck hunt. That's so. That's what gets us down and tired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so, I was talking to Travis, um, in June, mm -hmm. I think. So. My cousin is coming up here. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Her son is doing his senior, like, how do you explain it? 
uh, like she takes her kids, she's got multiple, and says, hey, look, you know, we're going to move from junior to senior. This is a life-changing thing. Mm -hmm. And so he's coming with us and going to go bow fishing. And Hell Shenandoah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> That's going to be sweet. Yeah, I think so. That's what I had a guy at work today. Uh, one of the guys I work with came up to me and he's like, hey, man, would you be interested in doing a fishing charter? What? And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, oh, I want to do a, I want to get like a group of guys to go do a fishing charter out of like Ocean City. And I was like, what boats are you looking at? You know, like, what charters? I was like, I know a guy that works for a couple of them. Have you met my friend Zane? <laughs> I was like, because uh, if we're going to do that, we're going on Zane's boat. Yeah. And he's like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, I got the spot. That's he's like, it. I'd also like to do, like, bow fishing or something. Like, I, I was watching a YouTube video on bow fishing. Like, that stuff looks crazy. I was like, huh, crazy. I know the guy. <laughs> I was well, like, we, we could pretty much crazy. <laughs> we could pretty much steal his boat whenever we want to. Oh. Uh, have you seen the pictures of the uh of the skiff oh i have dude I it's looking it. good yeah she's so pretty she's been she abused for a while hooking it she up. needed she needed a good coat of paint on her look i'm i'm not gonna say no but yes <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah doyle's been up there all week just Busting his ass on that boat. And they got the platform built and the working. lights and paint. And yeah, that thing's going to be ready to rock here in a couple of weeks. It's going to be awesome. Hell yeah. That I love fishing like out of that next, skiff. Like, like, I don't know, social media vote. Oh, yeah. I like that idea. I like that. Yeah. But it's I hard love to pass up the fan. Uh, I don't know. I think I like the skiff more. The I the like airboats the, the airboats prettier. My wife loves the fact that you can turn the fan around and blow <laughs> all the bugs away. That doesn't actually do anything. It does. <laughs> no, For like it doesn't. twenty seconds, no, you have no doesn't. bugs that you're breathing in. <laughs> I just uh, like the it. way that skiff sits on top of the water. It. I they, would agree, dude. Those dude. things, you can flick them awesome. around. You can put them wherever you want them. Yeah, they're yeah. badass. Yeah, and and. Like skinny water? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, they float what? in like four inches of water. <laughs> yeah, you don't need anything. I was say. Like if you can get a prop in the water, you can go. Yeah. You can go. Yeah, Life they're sweet. Great. Yeah, and uh, and D can drive. I'm good with that. Yeah, well, that's a nice oh, thing man. about about having he, some captains. What? Yeah, he's captain, right? Yep. Yeah, him yeah. and Nick are both cap. I'm the only one yeah. that doesn't have a captain's license. What's wrong with you? Me and Zane, I ain't got, it. I ain't got color vision. <laughs> Uh, you can do that without captain. Well, uh, well <laughs> see, the problem is you kind of need color <laughs> no, vision, you don't. especially, green, especially cares? red and green. Those, uh, no, those little flashing lights you see nope. out on the water are pretty nope. important. No, they're uh, not. See, my thing is, is I don't see the color. Right. <laughs> I still see a flashing light. <laughs> right. It's not it's like just, it's invisible. Oh, I still know. There. You know, I know that I know that river good enough. Oh, yeah. Um but <laughs> still coming up the river, I was like, dude, I, I know the creek's right there and I can see <laughs> both the little red flashing lights. But, yeah. But whatever. Well, one's red, one's green. Nah. Yes, they are. <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, coming into Easy Cruise, it's just the uh or not Easy Cruise. Um yeah, um, uh, coming yeah, into Easy Cruise, it's yeah. just the one line of reds on the right side. So, I got a question. Yep. If you're like kind of like looking at the captain's license, could you like put the glasses on? <sighs> so I've actually looked into that. Um, okay. It, from what I understand of it, even if you wear the color correcting glasses or the contacts, right. um, you have to get. Uh, a doctor's note, basically, like verifying whatever the fuck that means. Um, mm. But that still only authorizes you to drive from sunrise to sunset. Why? Is it like change after dark? Are you a werewolf? I don't know. Which would render it pretty much useless for bow fishing and duck hunting. 
because duck hunting were running the boats in the dark, bow fishing were running at night. So yeah, um, I believe the only way around it is to do either the glasses or the contacts, and you have to get uh, a color vision test done. And I forget what the name of that test is, but it's not the normal like look at the bowl of dots and tell me what numbers in the middle of it. Right. It's like a um. Because Rebecca and I were talking about it the other night. It's a like, they have different well, shades of wait, color. Wait wait, 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 hold on. Rebecca. That would be my girlfriend who okay, works cool. at a... No, keep going. She's a, a eye care tech. There you um, go. So she knows what she's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's it, this ridiculous color vision test with like 400 different shades of color that they drag out across a sheet of like in these little like test vials. Um, apparently it's like insanely expensive, um, cause they can only run the test like once cause of all the little like pieces of kit and stuff that come in it are ruined after the one test. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of headache for, uh, maybe get approved for the Coast Guard to let you run other than daylight hours. That is nuts. Yeah. It sucks. And, like, the only place that does that test is, like, Johns Hopkins. Um, yeah, like I it's was wondering. It's rough. It's rough. I've looked into <sighs> it. I want. I I would love to get it. Um, hell, Travis even said he was going to pay for it. But I, just, I don't think I can. Which, <laughs> if somebody listening knows different, <laughs> please, right? please email us. Or uh, yeah, shoot us a DM info. on... At thehuntingquest.com. Yep. Info at thehuntingquest.com or shoot us a DM on Instagram if you know better or work for the boating <laughs> captain's license <laughs> office. If, if you, got an <laughs> if you the give Coast them Guard. out, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> um, but yeah, as far as I know, I don't think I can do it, which sucks. Uh, but Dude, that really sucks. Yep. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> it is. I don't know. You need to just get yours. Don't go there. And then I can, even though you would have the captain's license, I'd still make you my assistant. And right. We'd go have fun. <laughs> go like the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm in uh, charge now. Exactly. I'm good with that. <laughs> uh, Wait, no, I don't. Man. I don't want all that. <laughs> so I will tell you this much. I have an interview. With the falling outdoors in like, I don't know, 15 minutes. Awesome. For a pro stab. <laughs> dog. You dog. I like it. <sighs> I'm super you excited for Maryland, it. in Maryland, we'll be all right. Well, see, and I know. And I had talked to, I had talked to them before about that because, you know, <laughs> I run duck hunting you know, a guide in Virginia. Yeah. We do the bow fishing in Virginia. Yep. We do, you know, Nick runs the skate trips out yep. of um, where he's at in Virginia. Yeah. Like everyone I know that does outdoor stuff is in Virginia because Maryland, because Maryland sucks. Um, I'd love to, but I don't want to drive an hour and a half to work. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, but how yeah, many they basically. Can you put in a magazine in Maryland? It's a tricky question. <sighs> it's a tricky question, Mikey. Oh, it's not. Is it how many rounds can you put in a magazine as you purchase it, or if you went to your buddy Travis's house in Virginia and fixed your magazine? Um. You because Virginia, because the answer to that would be 10 in the state of Maryland. However, okay. if you drove to your buddy Travis's house in Virginia and took off the base plate of your Glock magazines and snapped out the hot glue pile with a wooden dowel rod, you're back to whatever they are, 18, 21, whatever the, whatever the Glock 18 But you live in Maryland. Is. Yeah, whatever. I'll, I love you, Benny. See, that's I don't I don't buy that stuff anyway because I'm a Missouri resident, and so there I just ship go. it to my house in Missouri. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, you got uh, gun rules, Maryland? <laughs> I like your funny words, magic man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Missouri to get what I want. <laughs> I ain't playing Edwards, that game. Look, MO does not care. <laughs> Dude, it is yeah. the Wild West out there. It is. I love it. I was. It <laughs> is. We went to the hockey game the other night. My mom was like, you taking your pistol with you to D.C.? I was like, <laughs> hell no. I was like, to this communist district? No. Nah. Yeah. I was like, it ain't worth it. You're right. I was like, it's not Missouri, because Missouri, <laughs> you don't have to have a permit to conceal carry, right. to open carry, yep. to whatever you want. You want pistols, care. ARs, shotgun, whatever you want. You yeah. Walk around with it. Yeah. Hell, the last time I was home, I went, um, I always have my Glock in my truck like when I'm traveling home and stuff. The and fact uh, that you own a Glock is terrible. Oh, I love it. No. I have two of no. them. I love oh. them. I love them both equally. <sighs> Mikey, I don't have 1911 money. <laughs> oh, you do. I don't. Oh, you do. I don't. I'm buying stupid things like <laughs> Mr. Fox turkey vests and Sitka vests <laughs> and briskets and. <laughs> let me let me talk to you about this. <sighs> There's, I don't know, anything other than Glock that will work. H and K, Springfield. Yeah, but XD, see, I like the I like the added Kimber. element of danger of not having a safety. Ugh. It's more fun. <laughs> you know, I love you, Bennett. No, I, I, honestly, I bought it for the upgradability of it. I mean, there mm. are so many companies that make every single part that you would ever want in a Glock. All right. I mean, you can change everything on them. It's like hey. adult Legos. Hey. Yeah, uh, be right, mad about whatever. it. Be mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> How many other people in the duck blind talk about Glocks? None. It's Beretta. It's whatever. No, it it's uh, Benelli. Oh yeah, it's shotguns. No. Yes, that's all we should talk about here. Not Glocks. Oh. Love me a good Austrian Glock. Oh. <laughs> also Brilliant. like that they do their uh blue label program eh, that's which is okay. sweet i'm not gonna say no which i think it's what at cost yeah which is sweet yeah yeah i can't and say i think no. that goes to what it's active duty retired military yeah. uh police yep. i think it goes out to first responders even first responders yep. first responders and military Yep. Um, you can buy a Glock at cost through their yeah. blue label program, which is sweet. Yeah. But I'm not going to say yeah, keep that. Being like, mad. Keep being mad. It's okay. Yeah. Other people don't have that same offer. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, nah. you're just mad because you don't have a Mr. Fox vest at your house right now. So it's okay. I understand. <sighs> I understand I that you're upset. Itch. It's okay. <laughs> not yet. It's supposed to be here. It's not. Mm -hmm. Not okay. Hey, where are we at with, with time? We're at 33, just over. <sighs> Three minutes over. That's it. We're, <laughs> we're done. Jesus. See you later, guys. <laughs> Stop it all. <laughs> all right, man. Um, so I appreciate the fact that you wore an awesome shirt today. Had to. Yeah. Had to. And I might even just have to wash it tomorrow and wear it again on Friday. Nobody to wants to hear that. I might. You know what? I'm going to show up. Wearing the Mr. Fox vest. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Friday, Kyle Ott, yep. Mossy of Pro Staff, and whatever you're going to have nowhere there. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, <laughs> but um, we got um, a good... Like little D's gonna be there. You it's all in, like all in person. Are we doing it live or no? Ah, we can try it. Oh, live I'm down to YouTube. clown. Oh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll try it. All right, I think that's a good plan. Yep, 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 yep. All right, man. Um, other than that, what else we got? Anything? That's all I got. Good luck on your interview. Go get us. Oh. Go get go get a pro staff. Ugh, we'll see. Too many bars towns. We got brands to represent. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get <go> there. <laughs> I gotta I gotta eat some like carbs or something <laughs> real quick. No. Um 
So um, appreciate y'all spending some time with us. And um, I don't know. Got anything, Benny? That's all I got. See y'all on Friday. Cool. Yeah, man. Take somebody out hunting. Happy seasons right now. Thanks, y'all. See ya. You've been listening to The Hunting Quest, the Wednesday edition. Another hour of the best talk about hunting and fishing. Another hour to get tips and to learn something. We're so pumped about the new hour. Make sure to like, rate, and review it. And pass it around to your friends so they know that we're on on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. To get in touch with the show, you can fire an email to info at thehuntingquest.com. And you can check us out on Instagram and YouTube at The Hunting Quest. Making your Wednesday night complete, this has been The Hunting Quest.